Okay, hi guys, Lawrence here. Another journal reflection about my character creation for my school. So let's get started. So the first thing that you notice right now is I'm creating different views, perspective from my character since first it's a requirement from the school that I had to do that for the documentation and secondly it's actually really good for the 3D artist which is also me since I have to do every step from concept to the finalization of a 3D character. But why should I draw a character in different perspective if one is really good enough? And the reason being is if a 3D artist wants to see how the armor works, how he wears it and how it connects each other, then you need to draw different views in order to show how the armor works. For example, if you don't draw the back view as a concept artist or a character designer and a 3D artist gets the hands of your concept, he has to guess a lot of the back view in 3D since he doesn't know if the, for example, body armor is closed or can you open it with a button or maybe he has even a backpack behind him. And that is why you should always draw your character in different views so the 3D artist who is creating your 3D model doesn't have to guess a lot and can work more efficiently. Right now maybe you noticed that I was only rendering the right side of the character and the reason being that you see right now is I can just literally copy pasted it and mirror it to get the other side. So I save 50% of the workload. And one thing to notice right now while I was mirroring it, the middle part gave me an amazing cool design that I said to myself, I'm gonna keep that. That is what I call a happy accident, just like Bob Ross said. And one thing to notice that I'm always working with reference from different images that I find in Google. Because without references, you cannot start at all since Really, references is the starting point of creating your characters. Just don't believe that everything has to be reinventing the new wheel. Because it's not. You just have to combine two ideas and you have something new again. It's like 1 plus 1 is 2. <laughs> anyway, moving to colors right now. I was looking for one strong color and that was red. Which makes it look the character evil. Like evil and powerful and the rest of the colors will be very neutral, grayish, dark. So it gives a much more emphasis on the red colors because if everything would be colorful as the rainbow in the sky then there would be no focus at all. Okay right now I'm painting some materials in Photoshop so I have something for my documentation since it's a requirement. <sighs> but finally I got that done and I'm back with my coloring. And I started new again because the previous one I had not a lot of controls with the colors. So I try a different method that I like to do and there I can use the colors much much better. That is why you should have different methods in order to achieve your goal. So right now I'm playing around with the colors which one will I like to emphasize and which one not and I saw that the hat I love the color of white and then underneath you have this powerful red mask with the glowing red eyes. It gives a nice balance between saturation and desaturation of the colors. One thing that I wish I could just turn back time and do something better was the shoes or I think I guess the boots because they don't really look amazing. It's really plain basic and there's two reasons of it one of them i didn't do a lot of research and second thing is i don't have a lot of time anymore since the deadline is in two days and i still have to finish my documentation but overall i have to say i'm happy how it ended my character because i have to be honest you cannot have everything perfect since that's an illusion just be happy what you have right now and move on